Hello everybody, it's Miss Jackie here and we are gonna be working on a Christmas project right now. So, the first thing as far as supplies is we need a picture of a stocking. So if you do not have a printer, that's totally fine. All you will need is your mom or teacher to draw you an outline of a stocking. All right, next you're going to need a red piece of paper and a green piece of paper. And if you don't have a red or green piece of paper, you'll need a red and green marker. And you can see I didn't have a red and green paper, but I made my own. So I used a red and green marker to draw some spots of red and green. Now, you're also going to need scissors and some glue. And the first thing we're gonna do is take a black marker and do our big line downs on our paper that is red and green. So, just to show you here, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and we're going to do a big line down. And we'll do a couple big line down, big lines down. We always start at the top. That's good for pre-writing practice because when we start our letters, they always start at the top. Now, I've got a bunch of big lines going down. Now we're gonna make some boxes. So you're gonna start at the side and you're gonna zoom across, zoom across the paper to make some boxes, okay? So once you've done that, you can put your cap back on your marker and we're gonna cut out our stocking. So it might be easier if you have a parent, trace the outside of your stocking like this so that you know where you need to cut. So we're gonna cut all along the dotted lines. Okay, now I have my scissors. My thumb is in the small hole. My two fingers are in the big hole. And we're gonna have our helper hand, our thumb is on top of that paper. So we're gonna open and close our scissors, staying right on the line, really turning that paper with our helper hand. Using two hands together, we wanna keep our elbows at our sides. A good trick is to put a book or a piece of paper underneath our elbow like this so that we can keep our elbow down and tight when we are cutting our paper. All right, our elbow stays down. We're using that helper hand to rotate the paper and opening and closing our scissors. And we are all done. The scraps can go into the garbage. All right, and after we cut out our stocking, we're gonna put that on the side and we're going to get our other paper with our big lines down and our zoom across lines and cut those out. So when we cut those out, we're gonna cut strips first. So I don't want you to cut out one box at a time, okay? That's not what we wanna do. We want to cut long strips all across the paper. Sorry. We're gonna cut our red lines and now we'll have our green lines. We're gonna do our long. So this is really good to help with practice cutting across the paper. And mom and dad, grandma or grandpa, who's ever with you, might have to help you hold that paper. And we, we don't want to push our scissors through, we want to cut. So we want to really open and close that paper. Now, in order to have our boxes, we're going to do the snips. So now we can snip and all of our pieces fall right into a pile. So we're gonna snip 
all of our strips. So we're going to cut right on the line and cut them right into strips. And we're going to do the same for the red. Cutting them right into long strips. Okay, so now once you have your piles of red and green boxes, we are going to work on gluing them into our stocking. So, if you don't have glue, you can use tape. So you can see I have some tape here that I'm going to use. And you're going to pinch. Tape works really good too. It's another really good task that uses by two hands. So called by manual, by manual skills. So I'm going to put a little piece of tape onto my green strip. And I'm going to make the top of my stocking green. Okay. So we are going to do little tiny strips and make the top of my stocking green. And I'm going to keep on putting all of these green strips into the top to make the top of my stocking green. And you can keep going, fill up the whole thing, use all of your green little strips. If you have glue, you're going to use glue to glue all of your pieces together. All right, so now I have the top of my stocking is green and I'm going to do the bottom red. So I'm going to get some red strips and you're going to pinch with your fingers using your pincher skills. And I'm gonna put a couple together here. Get some tape using two hands, and we're gonna tape on the red, okay? So you're gonna keep going until you fill up your whole stocking. And then you'll have your red and green stocking. All right, I hope you guys have a great time with your stocking craft, and feel free to ask me any questions you have. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.